peeps and welcome back to my allotment um, I'm down here on a Monday evening also got my daughter at Cubs uh, it's been a while since I've been down here the place is overrun with weeds I've kind of tried to keep on top of it um, over the last few months but we've been concentrating solely on our garden at home um, we opened it on Saturday as part of the National Garden Scheme and had uh, 178 visitors through the gate and the garden was looking stunning but now that's finished I can concentrate on the allotment so what I'm going to do is just take you quickly through what I've got here. I've got a few bits and pieces in, not much, more weeds than anything else. Um, but I wanted to just do a quick update to uh, let you know that I hadn't forgotten about you. So we've got some more work being done on the seating area. I've uh, had a rethink. i uh, put this little edging in here to help keep the uh, bark chippings. I've uh, put more bark chippings down here. Um, I'm going to clear out this area at the side here. Got the oxide daisies in here which is uh, part of our wildflower bed um, they're now starting to go over so once they've gone i think i'm going to clear that bed out i'm going to clear that area and put down some raised beds for the children they both want to uh, to grow stuff got a small salad bed here with some lettuce in some beetroot and some radish we've already started picking the radishes but as i said i'm going to use most of this is now going to be raised beds um, and then just finish off the, the bark here Broad beans are looking pretty good, um, although there's not many pods on them, I'm starting to notice. So uh, there are a few down here. So we've got a few starting to come on. The plants themselves are looking really healthy. I have noticed a little bit of black fly, but not a huge amount. So we've got a, a few small um, plants, a uh, few pods there. These were planted quite late, so it could just be they're a little bit behind. We obviously had our wet cold spring which has affected a lot of things but i'm noticing here there's not much in the way of um, flowers or, or beans starting to form so we'll see we'll wait and see so down here i've got but one of the beds i've managed to clear out uh, this was overrun with weeds but uh, I've got three courgette plants in here these are the zucchini variety so these would be the normal standard green courgettes some onions in here, multi-sown onions. Uh, these are Elsa Craig. These were sown from seed. So it'll uh, be interesting to see how they come on. And then some leftover um, climbing beans. So these are the Blauhild. These are left over from home. So I'll just pop them in here to climb up just to, so I don't waste the plants. And then I've got a spaghetti squash plant here that Rhea planted at Cubs one evening. Uh, we brought the cubs down to the allotment to do a little bit of work and they all went away with a, a seed. Rhea chose a spaghetti squash, so that's Rhea's spaghetti squash growing there. So on this bed we've got more spaghetti squash and a couple of parsley plants that are looking a little sad. They've been eaten by something, but uh, they are starting to come back, so hopefully they'll, uh, they'll fight back with the spaghetti squash plants. And then an unknown plant here, this is the one we had at home in the compost heap. Uh, not sure what it was. Uh, so my mother-in-law potted it up for me to bring down here and, and grow on to see what it turns into. But it's going to be a squash or a, or a uh, courgette type thing of, of some description. So going into now what was the brassica cage last year. Um, this year we decided to take it down. Haven't quite got that far yet. But I decided early on in the season that I was going to um, plant some peas so peas are in here under cover of the uh, uh the netting just to help help stop the rabbits and pigeons um but we have got peas and i've just started harvesting so we've got some nice peas here so we're gonna just try and grab it for you so nice long pod there that's nice and full so i shall pick that now and pop that into my basket so we've got a few there, I've just started harvesting, um, but we've got plenty of peas on here. So not many massive amounts of plants, but just a few to, to keep us going. And this is the Hurst, long, Hurst Green Long Shaft variety, or Hurst Green Shaft, I've just looked at the label. So Hurst Green Shaft. As you can see, the rest of the cage is looking a bit sad, overrun with weeds. Uh, the plan is to take the cage down, so once the peas are finished, take the cage down clear it all out and uh, free up the beds for something else maybe some brassicas for later in the season 
So I've got two beds of potatoes here at the allotment. I've got this bed here, which is again getting quite overrun with weeds. Uh, like I said, I've not been able to get down here as much as I'd like to. Uh, simply because we've been concentrating on the garden at home. Uh, but this is uh, variety Desiri. So these are the red potatoes. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be nice and ready to harvest soon. More weeds. And uh, I've got another bed of potatoes here. Um, I think these are the charlottes I planted. Let's double check the label. No, nope, I can't double check the label because I've mown over it. So it'll be a nice surprise for me. So there are four rows of uh, charlottes in here. So I think these started to go yellow. So I think I'm going to pull a, a root or two and see what they're like. And our grapevine. We've got two grapevines here. We've got this one here, which is a strawberry grape so this was planted last year and has come back really well this year really pleased with how that's looking and we've got a polo muscat grape here not doing too well um, but we thought it had died off last year um, produced a few leaves um, died off again um, it has come back so fingers crossed it will start to produce some uh, some vines to to grow some nice grapes on Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to do any more. Um, there's really not much else to see here. It really is a bit of a mess at the moment, as you can see behind me. So the next few weeks, we'll be clearing it, um, neatening it up, and there'll be a few more videos out, um, particularly as we start to harvest some of the crops and start to plant in some of the uh, the winter um, vegetables. We'll also be doing a few videos from home. So our vegetable garden at home, um, we'll be showing off that. Uh, especially as it's looking so good at the moment as a result the open garden and also uh, introduce you to my wife's bees she's uh, recently um, started a beehive at home um, so she's really pleased with that they were coming on really nicely so now they've settled in we'll get a video up um, of uh, Sam and her bees but for now thanks for watching I hope to see you soon and happy gardening